Hello, so my name is um, Typical London Girl, co host and this is my All About Books video where I share books that I've read and give you a review. Now, this is now that I do write books myself, and if you want to check them out, you can on Amazon.co.uk pay and go under the names of Carrie Challoner, Carrie Holmes, or Carrie Lee Holmes. And I do books on wellness, organisation, um, and I write fictional books as well as autobiography type books and uh, I want to also be creating my own planners I've got one that I'm creating at the moment so I'll be selling those two but as for now I want to talk about books because books I love I have a stash of loads of books to read that I can't wait to get started on and give a review on the last three books that I read so I've challenged myself like in last year to read a book a month and I've done really well and I read at night time now rather than travelling so I use that to leave this to music or listen to an audio book. Um, and so the first book that I want to talk about, which I shared in my last um, Robert video, is this book called The End of Mr. Y by Scarlett Thomas. And it's about this girl called Ariel Mantle. And she uh, works at a university and teaches. And she was good for the book of The End of Mr. Y and finds it. And apparently whoever has the book, uh, there is a curse and she goes and search why and uh, and sees that there that there's a concoction that Mr. Y took which made him go into what's known as a structure fit. Uh, I'm not gonna say any more on that because it goes away. But it's a really good book, a bit of a fun book. Um it didn't take long to read once I got into it. It's it was a bit of a slow start but once uh, you read it it's actually a good book. And I've got another one of hers that I'm looking forward to reading. But this is a really good book. Um, and if I had to um, rate it, I would give it 8 out of 10. Just because, obviously, where she's been stressed for it, it was hard to know who she was being. But then as you read the book, you understand it. So, um, and yeah, it was good. It was good to read. Um, but, yeah, some bits I was confused. I'd like to go back. Um... But then once you read it, you do. it does all make sense. It just takes a while to understand what's going on. Because, I mean, writing this book must have been really difficult. So that's why I like the book, because there's so many different elements to it. Um, and I love books like that, where it goes from one thing to another, and you don't really know what's going on. And then, you know, and want to know what happens at the end. And, and, and it was easy to pick up and put down. Um... But like I said, some of it was a lot, I got a bit lost, but uh, in saying that, it was a good read and I would recommend it if you like things like that. And I'd love to see if they could take, put this into a film if they haven't already, because I think it'd be a really good film um, to watch. I mean, it'd be, it'd take ages to put together, because I, like I say, there's different elements to the book. But um, it was a good read, and uh, so if you're looking for something that's a bit mystical, a bit different, this is a book to read. And then the next book that I read after that was uh, this book by Nick Hornby. It's called Just Like You. And basically it's about uh, Joseph and Lucy. And uh, basically Joseph meets uh, Lucy as he's working in the butcher shop. And uh, he and they, they kind of have a relationship but then it wears off because there's an age gap. And also, he is black, um, and she's white, and there's a whole thing about the race, and, and it's quite a funny book, uh, and quirky. I mean, I like I like the fever pitch, even though I preferred the film to the book, if I'm honest. But it was a good fun read. It you know, didn't know what was going to happen. Hopefully, you hoped that they would get get together, but you it's I hope I haven't spoiled that there. But I'm not saying that I'm not sure, you, you don't know if what well, what's gonna happen to the very end. Um but it's quite funny and it hits on, you know, the the issue with having a huge um age gap because obviously she'd be retired but by, by the time he reaches thirty, for example. He's he's in his twenties and Lucy is in her forties. So it's quite a gap. But uh, and they become friends and then they uh, romance and they see other people and they and he it, it babysits for Lucy and 
it's a really good fun book and I'm gonna say that you know I'm not saying whether they get, get together or not because you don't know until the end but um, again I'd like to see this in the film but it would be really funny to watch and would read more of his books um, so I would give that a 9 out of 10 in that book and this is the one I finished last night in bed this is called uh, Total Blackout by Alex Shaw this is a found in a charity shop and uh, I, I like this type of books and basically it's uh, it's a uh, he does like a uh, series of books on, and it's a, a Jack could a thriller and basically he is um, uh, works a CA uh, works for MI6 agent and he goes over to America just to have time out um, and wants to see his brother Simon Hunter and uh, why is it the, Rus uh, the Russians um, turn off the electricity in oil and so the cars stop working um, no, no cars on the road because the cars have conked out and they can't use them but then the, the Russians who are um, guilty of doing that um, they have vehicles that they can still drive even though normal cars and and, um, and computers have all, uh, have all been cut out so they can't be used um, and he then it goes out and tries to find out who's responsible for it and uh, and who's in charge and he goes and search to find out how to or, and understand why their cars are working but not his car and but they have a series of um, assassinations um, and it all kind of, sort of comes together it's a really good book uh, it's based on a third party and there's different characters so you've got Jack Tate and you've got his brother Simon Hunter then uh, there's a guy called Terry who is is, is, who is with um, Tate's, Tate, um, Jack Tate's girlfriend um, and it finds out that she is not actually who she says she is um, and it was a really good book and um, obviously with the things that are going on at the minute with Ukraine and Russia you know, it, it seemed quite relevant and is not why I picked it I, had it, I bought it ages ago before it, it, it all kicked off with Russia and Ukraine um, and obviously is Russians they go they aim for America because of a previous war where the, the guy in charge um, is defeated and so he wants to get his own back on America um, for doing that and killing his parents and friends and uh, it is so good, a really good book and uh, I can't wait to read some more of these books because it was a really good um, book to read so and I would give that a 9 out of 10 so um, those are the books I'm reviewing now I do have, I'm not decided on which book I want to read next um, and I'm just going to get the books that I'm thinking of reading um, to review next time so next book I'm thinking of reading so this is book is a uh, this is the number one bestseller by Richard B. Pel Pelzer, Surviving a Childhood of Abuse, A Brother's Journey. And I think we're reading this book, um, now because I'm writing a book at the minute, which is kind of relevant to this book, so that's the reason why I would like to start reading this this one by Dave Pelzer. Um, and it's basically, uh, the story of Dave Pelzer is the legend of our times, the chattering tale of the child called It. When Dave was 12, the police removed him from his household, but the cycle of abuse continued. With Dave's death departure, Richard, at the age of nine, became the target of his mother's artillery of insanity. The victim of savage beatings leading to hospitalisation. The boy denied clean clothes. The one who deserved whole bottles of hot Tabasco sauce poured down his throat. Ultimately, the only way to survive was to escape, as well as evoking the tortured farm with which he lived, Richard B. Pelzer. The counts how he managed to leave it, and he arrived at his ultimate destination. 
a, a, for a brother's journey is a voyage of both body and spirit once led Richard to a place of safety to redemption and reconciliation with wiping whipping boy who once again is his brother so I can't wait to read that because I have read his books before they're really good so and I'm gonna I think I'm gonna choose that as my next one um, because of the book that I'm writing would really be helpful to that uh, and then I've got this one this is called uh, uh, um, the black country orphan this is by Anne Murray um, and Basically, it's about Lucy Butler is a young girl crippled by a cruel accident, lives with her two brothers and widowed mother, a chain maker barely making ends meet. When tragedy strikes, the Butler family is separated and Lucy is taken in by Bertha Hipkiss, another impoverished chain maker, struggling to look after her family. And Lucy, while fe feeling the loss of her loved ones, relies on the company of Bertha's two sons. Charming Clem and Straight Lace John. Though cle clever at school, Lucy knows she must leave and earn her keep, working many hours in the back board. The five women tolling side by side in the Butley have their own friendships and squabbles, but they're united in their hatred of loathsome little man Seth Dawson, who treats the women with contempt and keeps their pay punishing low. But by the 1910s, there is movement soon, as across the country, workers begin unrising for their rights. For Lucy, Beth and the woman of Cradle and Heath, the promise of blessed life seems almost too much to hope for, and the fight may end up costing them everything. So again, that's a book related to what I'm writing, so I'm indecisive now, um, because then I've got this one. This is, uh, sorry, I, I, if you go to work, the works, uh, they do really good deals in books and because the writing and I can read on here. So this is by Miranda Dixon, it's called The Day We Met, Meet Again. Uh, and this book is about, um, it's a true, their love story started with goodbye. And his Phoebe and Sam meet by chance at St. Pancras Station heading in opposite directions, both seeking their own adventures. Meeting the love of their lives wasn't part of the plan, so they make a promise to meet again in the same place in 12 months time if they still want to be together, but it is life ever as simple as that. Uh, and it says that this story of what these are maybe is and how one decision to change your life forever. Um, and, but, and, it's very, and it's said by Kathy Bram in Sunday Times, uh, best in author is still exquisitely tender and breathtaking. This is around at her best. So I've not read one of her stories for, well, but that does sound like a really good read. Uh, so, but I really want to read. I think I want to start because of the relevance of the, it has with the book I'm writing, which is a fictional story as well. Um, this book, how it, now this is a true story, but mine's a fictional story. But the relevance of it really help as long with this one, a uh, black country orphan. Um, but I think I'm going to choose this one as my next book. Um, and yeah, and then we'll do another video all about books and reviewing those uh, books as well. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Sorry I had the book in my face, <laughs> you didn't see it. But the contents is about the books, not about me. So I hope that uh, you enjoyed this video. And if there are any recommendations or books that you'd like to share with me, then please do leave a comment below. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.